So over here in lossless cut, when you import out a video, what you see is the entire timeline. That is now you can see that there's this is the zero seconds. And if I were to go over here, this is 21 seconds of video. But if I want to do a precise selection, you can see that this is a fairly short video. So I can select out the part I want. But if you are having a very large video, then you might want to zoom in to be more precise on the timeline. So to do that, you can see on the bottom, there's the zooming option. And right now the zoom is on one X. If I were to do two X right here, what happens is that you see that this is 50% of the video. And as I click and drag, you go onto the other part. You can see this icon right here uh, for reference. So I can move it onto the right or left just like this. So this is one second and this is 11 seconds. As I click and drag it, you can see that it goes onto 21 seconds and just like this. So I can click on this and it goes frame by frame on left side and right side. I can zoom it even further. Let's say, for example, even 4,096 uh, times. And if I were to move this, you can see that it jumps. There's like a lot of things going on right here. Let me just zoom out into 64 times and you can see that this is each frame now. So if as I were to click this, you can be very, very precise with the frame. I can go around check this and then this is the frame let's say for example so this whole space represents the entire frame so i can just select that out and these uh, five frames has been selected out so i can zoom in and zoom out to be very very precise in selection inside of lossless cut like this and i can zoom in and zoom out to view everything out just like that so that is how you can use the timeline zoom option zoom options inside of lossless cut so if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.